Hi and welcome back to our course on SolidWorks for Beginners. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to use lofted boss base. In our last lecture, we learned how to insert different planes. Now we will use this planes to create a lofted body. We will draw simple sketches in each of these planes. In the first plane, let's create a rectangle. Exit sketch. In the second plane, let's create a circle. Exit sketch. In the third plane, let's create another rectangle. Exit sketch. And in the fourth plane, let's create a bigger circle. Exit sketch. Now we will connect these sketches to create a 3D figure. Go to Feature. Here is the lofted boss base command. The description says that this command is used to add material between different profiles to create a solid feature. Click on it. A window will appear. Select the profiles. If you choose the corners it will helpful to create a smooth structure as the 3D figure is guided by the coordinates. See here, the green points in the line show the coordinates. If the position of these points is changed, the resulting object will be different. OK. This is a simple structure created with the help of lofted boss base. Now we will explore other other options in this command. Right click and edit feature. Let's move this point to another corner of the same rectangle. See how this simple change has twisted the object. The dimension and shape has completed changed. Again edit and bring it back to its original place by dragging with the mouse. You can also right click and clear selections. Again reselect all the profiles. If we simply select the profiles, the computer will decide the shape of the object. If you want a specific shape that is in our mind, we need to create it guide curves. We will see this later in this lecture. Click OK. Before looking at guide curves, let's first see how to create hollow bodies. Right click and delete this body. Again go to lofted boss base. Again select the profiles. Here there is the thin feature option, we have see how it works in the swept boss command as well. Click on thin feature. A hollow body has been created. Enter the desired thickness. Click on the direction button to add material inside or outside. Click OK. See how we have created a beautiful vase using this command. Now select all these planes and select the hide icon. Now we will see how to create a guided loft. We briefly discussed about guide curves in the swept boss base lecture. If we want to have different cross sections of a single shape when we will use the swept boss command. This means if we have taken a circle as the base curve, no matter where we cut the object along the length it will be a circle only. But in case of guided lofted boss, both the shape as well as the cross section area. Now I have again deleted the body. Again I will use the same sketches for the guided loft. Again select the planes and hide them. Now we need to join all these profiles using a curve. So I will select the right plane 
because it intersects all these sketches. Go to Sketch. Select Normal. Hold the Shift key and select all the profiles. Click on Convert Entities. Now select all these lines. And click on for construction. OK. Now choose the spline command and create a curve. This is a guide curve that we can use. Exit from the sketch and go to Feature. Click on Lofted Boss Base. Select all four profiles one by one. This is the shape that is created without a guide curve. Go to Guided Curves. Now we want our object take the shape this path. So select this spline. Select OK. Since we have only one guided curve, the entire object is swayed in one direction. Delete this body. Select this sketch and go to Edit Sketch. Select the spline command. Now created one more spline similar to the previous one. OK. Now we have two guide curves for our object. Again go to Lofted Boss. Select all four profiles one by one. Go to Guided Curves. First select this one, it will ask yes or no. Click on yes. Repeat the same for the other one. See our geometry has taken the shape of both the splines. Click OK. This is how we use Lofted Boss to create complex shapes. Thanks for watching this lecture. See you in the next one.